We're all getting old. Yes, even you. More and more of our population are over 60, some living well into their 90s. And as we live longer, our joints, organs and tissues begin to fail, thereby diminishing the quality of our old age, not to mention the societal cost of lost productivity and long-term care. Our current medical technologies allow for extraordinary feats of augmentation and replacement, transplantation, pacemakers and artificial joints. Regenerative medicine goes further, promising the repair of dysfunctional body parts with our own living tissue. Many species can regenerate. A salamander can regrow its limbs, tail and even its eye. But sadly, only a few bits of us, like a healthy liver, can perform that trick. Coaxing the rest of our body to do it requires more effort. 3D printed biomaterial scaffolds, coated with layers of the patient's cells and cooked up in a body mimicking oven, can produce viable veins, bladders and bone. And more complex organs like kidneys aren't far away. Adult stem cells, while proving difficult to tame, promise injectable repairs for conditions like multiple sclerosis, type 1 diabetes, heart disease and rheumatoid arthritis. Techniques incorporating nanotechnology are also targeting spinal injuries, joint degeneration and failing organs. But in a world already burdened with overpopulation, is it even ethical to invest and encourage extended longevity? Will our culture slow or stagnate without retirement or death of the old guard? <laughs>